All right, that is that. Version, um, it. There was a little bit of history this week, but nothing like really too too crazy. Um, Spirited Away premiered in um, American theaters um, on Ooh. September twentieth, uh, two thousand two. Um, that was the only oh, other wow. kind of really remarkable thing about uh, uh, anime history this week. Sort of quiet uh, week historically in anime. Um, but uh, definitely a you know a notable thing just because of uh, the fact that that was the f- the first sort of uh, quote unquote wider release for a Miyazaki film. Uh, Mononoke had come out obviously, but uh, it hadn't really got, hit a huge number of theaters. But it hit enough that then when Spirit Away, folks, folks like, oh yeah, that, that Miyazaki guy, um, and it definitely got his name in a lot more uh, uh, a lot more families' minds. <clears throat> Than, than before, so kicking off that fandom was, in America. Was Mononoke that wasn't in conjunction with the Disney release deal? Was it was Spirited Away the first combination? Uh, sorry, I, my, my audio cut out for a second. Can you repeat that? Um, Spirited Away was with Disney distribution. Mm-hmm. Was Mononoke was with yes. Disney di- distribution as well? Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Which is interesting because you'd think it would have gotten you know as much cred and as much like attention as Spirit Away did. Well, it, I mean, Disney's good at that stuff. Yeah, well, and uh, they pushed Mononoke, but uh, Mononoke was ob- also um, it. Uh, Disney was scared to death of Mononoke because it has you know people getting their arms chopped off and their heads chopped off, um, and so they're like <clears throat> you know this is not on our brand, which is why they did more one of its release, um, but also they just. They didn't push it as hard as a lot of other properties, because um, it, it was not a Totoro. It was not a Castle in the Sky. Um, and then when by the time Spirit Away came along, they're like, "Oh, this is what we want. This is what we're looking for. Um, we'll, we'll put all the all the effort behind that one." Um, but yeah, apparently, according to um, Steve Alpert, uh, Disney had complaints about every single Ghibli film. They, they, they could not possibly release it because of X. Um, it's like, great. Thank you. That's I, Then why did you license them? Just kind of curious about that. Um, but yeah, there were issues with every single one. Well, I was say, sometimes, you know, it's it's a matter of licensing what you wish to bury so no one else mm, can show it. Right. Mm. Um, but, yeah, the, uh, the, the bath scene in Totoro, that was unacceptable. Um, Castle in the Sky, the, uh, the endangerment of the, uh, uh, of, um, Sheeta at the end, uh, like having a gun pointed at Sheeta, that's verboten, can't have that. Um, Kiki, you see her underwear, can't have that. Um, uh, what else in, um, well, you see up her skirt, I mean, she's, you know, um, uh, Nausicaa, I mean, it's, it's a fairly violent film. Um, there was something other in, in Nausicaa they, they, they pointed out. Um, Porco, what was it? In Porco. There was something in Porco. Was a lot they... of... Hmm? I was going to say, Porco has has a whole bunch of weird scenes in it. Mm. Yeah, people get shot down. Not dead, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, oh, and there was also... Yeah, it was that and uh, uh, a 16-year-old girl alone with an adult man. Can't have that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, it did get to a point where he was like, so, what? Mm, uh, why are we here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very, very strange. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> cool. Um, that is the news. That is anime history. Um, so this might be sort of a quiet week tonight. Um, so I do have to I ask. Say, you we've to... we've hustled through. Yeah, we really have. Uh, yeah, so, we really yeah. did. It's, it's, it, you know, it's it's a quiet week for the news. Apparently, 